Hitting the road for the holidays in an electric vehicle, GM is offering some tips. Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. With us from GM is EV Ecosystem Manager Kaylee Hill. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Fred. How are you? Terrific. Getting ready for Thanksgiving and the cook in the kitchen can turn to the Butterball Turkey hotline on Thanksgiving. And an electric vehicle owner can get help with questions from GM's EV Live. Give us the overview. Absolutely. Uh, we're really looking forward to helping Thanksgiving travelers this holiday season. And we definitely encourage you, if you have any questions on the best way to move around in an EV over Thanksgiving, to reach out to us at EV Live. Um, EV Live is a, uh, a studio that we've created where we have real people uh, in our studio who are there to answer your questions. So we just would suggest you go to evlive.gm.com and you hit join a live tour uh, to talk to one of our specialists who can answer questions around um, road trip tips, charging etiquette, cold weather talking points, and anything else you can think of uh, if you're looking to take your EV on the road this Thanksgiving. Now, is this something people have to schedule or can they just jump right in? You know what? They actually have both options. So if you're someone like me who's really busy between now and Thursday, you can actually go on the website and book a session for a time that's convenient for you. If you want to have a one-to-one -one conversation, you can do that. You can also just go right to the website and click join a live tour and uh, connect right away. Usually there's a, a, a little maybe 30 second wait before we can connect you, but generally speaking, we can get you on the line right away. Um, and we'll also be offering some, just some tours uh, with, with other people. You can join what we call a group tour. If there's a particular topic you want to learn about, we have those every day as well. So what are some of the concerns EV owners or, or would-be EV owners might have about taking that road trip to grandma's or Uncle Mike's house? Well, I think, you know, the... The things that they're probably feeling some anxiety about uh, are, are similar to really what anyone in any kind of a vehicle is worried about, the traffic and um, all of that stuff going on. So the one thing that's really, really helpful if you have a GM EV is you can actually use your vehicle's brand app. So it could be my Cadillac or my Chevy or my GMC, which will help you plan your route. Uh, which is just a good practice in general. But the really interesting thing you can do with uh, GM's brand apps is you can find nearby charging stations. You can actually see real-time charger availability and uh, you can actually start your charging session. So these are all things that I think as you, as you plan ahead for the week will really set you up for some success. Uh, you can also take advantage of plug-in charge, uh, which is a feature that we have when you use an EVgo DC fast charger. Uh, plug-in charge can really streamline your experience by ultimately making it so that you kind of just plug it in, you plug in the cable and, and the charging will just start to flow right away. So these are all some, some kind of helpful things to get you started uh, on, your, on your journey, your big journey this Thanksgiving. What should people know about uh, if they need to charge in, in bad weather, whether it's rain or, or snow? We're seeing lots of that in some parts of the country already. Well, the great news is GM actually designs and builds our EVs to withstand extreme temperatures. Uh, we, we have some cold weather testing facilities and we go as low as minus 40 Fahrenheit. And I really, really hope that doesn't happen over Thanksgiving because that is too cold for this time of year. Uh, so we do have some facilities where we do that cold weather testing. Um, we also, for our Altium-based EVs, uh, we have an energy recovery system, which recovers heat produced by the battery, the power electronics, and other propulsion components. So um, this really can sort of help with the efficiency as well. Uh, but in terms of what you can do to be preventative as you head out on the road, it's really helpful to precondition or pre-warm your battery to extend range. Um, and that will also help you reduce charging time in cold weather. Um, it also is really simple if you just sort of 
you know, not crank the heat all the way up um, because uh, understandably that can drain your battery a little bit faster. So using the eco setting on your climate control can help you take care of that. Uh, and ultimately um, that will set you up for, for having that, um, you know, more ideal range. What about uh, pulling up to a public charging station such as the ones you mentioned? Are there some rules of etiquette to be aware of I've seen people kind of approach charging stations from different directions. And there's a question, oh, who's who's next? It's like a four-way stop sign, maybe. <laughs> you know what? It's it's so true. Uh, you know, I think the great thing is everyone is learning more and more about these charging stations. And, and I would say for the most part, people are, you know, trying their best. But but a couple ideas um, that really will help you kind of be a, a a good Samaritan uh, in this crazy time of year where we're all about to get on the road. Uh, first and foremost, take a look if possible to see if the charging station that you're coming up to has a reservation system. Um, that will make the whole process much quicker and it will minimize your time waiting to charge. The other thing, uh, please, please only take an EV charging space if you need to charge. Um, you know, they are obviously uh, lots of parking spaces available. So please try to avoid parking in an EV charging space. The other thing you can do is um, use your vehicle app or your, or your charging app to actually monitor your charging session and just make sure that you, you know, move your vehicle as soon as your charging session is up and, and get back on the road so that others can come in behind you and start their sessions. Even things as basic as putting the cord back carefully, uh, making sure that, you know, you're kind of staying out of the way if people are trying to pull in and and ultimately just using common sense uh, is probably my best advice. If you have a home charger, highly advised by the way, are there any issues using it uh, while you've got the electric oven going and the big TV going for the football game, et cetera? There should be no issue. And in fact, the one of the best things you can probably do is start your charging session and then go watch the football game because unlike at a gas pump, you can actually walk away and go enjoy yourself uh, while you're charging your vehicle. Uh, and, you know, in the meantime, maybe in between commercials, you can give a call to EV Live and, and get some of your questions answered uh, if you had any. But yeah, that's the, that's the one really convenient thing is you can kind of set it and, and not forget it, but set it and kind of go enjoy yourself for a few hours while it's charging. And maybe if Cousin Eddie comes in and he's got an EV too, you can offer him a charge, right? I think so. I think that would be the very, uh, a very nice thing to do. <laughs> For more info, where again do people go? You're going to want to go to evlive.gm.com. And we are so excited to be answering everyone's uh, Thanksgiving travel questions. And uh, we really just wish everyone a very safe, healthy, and happy Thanksgiving. And we should mention, of course, you want people to have a, a GM electric vehicle, but a lot of the information is, I guess, category-wide, no matter what kind of EV you have. Absolutely. We have helped all sorts of people with their EV questions, uh, and we will continue to do so. Absolutely. Kaylee Hill, thank you for spending time with us. Of course. My pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>